All right, so we got a week of rain coming up. So I decided to come out here today and pull up these sweet potatoes. Uh, they still got some green growth to them. And unfortunately, although I did try to, you know, uh, wrap the vines in the pot, hoping that maybe they would uh, sprout more sweet potatoes, does not look like they did that. But... I don't remember how many slips this was, but it's a decent size one there. I uh, got my starter from my grandfather. So I think it was at least five slips that grew. So as you see, could have left them in a whole lot longer and those would have grown as well. But that's okay. Not as big as they could have gotten. said it came out fairly clean not too much dirt so. oh. well something got to that one there This is my first first uh, time growing sweet potatoes, so I've been watching everybody else's uh, videos on them. So hopefully, I get some nice size one. But, but I guess something's in here. Something has been eating them a little bit. Hopefully not too bad. That's a nice size one. Yeah, it's got some. Must be some kind of bug in there. I'll take. I don't know what you do with those small ones. But I'll take them also. Soil is fairly dry. Well, I shouldn't say fairly dry, very dry. Okay. Guess it probably should not be this dry. But it seems like there was some that grew a little further down. Probably should have waited. Let's see. Yeah, something. I don't know what eats, uh, sweet potatoes other than field mice looks more like a bug now oh, this was very very dry and that one too 
<sighs> very, very dry. Oh, okay. That would explain it. This is nice to us. Yeah. Well, I guess that, that answers my question. See, the roots went all the way down. Trying to feel, yeah. I guess one side did a little bit better than, uh, the other. Oh, there's another one. What in the world? Okay. Well, the grubs. Maybe the birds will get that one. I'll let them get that one. And the grubs seem to have uh, really liked it, which would explain why I'm still dealing with a few holes, small holes. The grubs are going in my pot, keep from getting eaten, so I guess I'll have to put some type of a shade cloth or something. I don't know, something down to keep them from coming into the pot. Let's see if I can. Oh, well. Looks like I might have broke one of them off. All right. I checked the pot uh, earlier to make sure that I didn't have any added holes or or uh, bigger holes because I do know that given the opportunity the mice will try to uh, if your holes are big enough they will try to come up through the bottom of the holes so There's a, a couple of snails, whoa, and big spiders. So we're just gonna leave, it's just gonna dump this, put this right back. And uh, gonna leave them spiders alone. Okay, that one might've been the one that got broken off. Alright, my little piece. So, definitely got to do more watering of this pot. Well, the bucket. Let's see. 
great thing about it, there are no ants in here, so that's great. Digging way down, almost to my elbow. If I wouldn't let them stay in there longer, they would have gotten bigger. Probably would have gotten more. But we don't even really eat sweet potatoes, so just trying to learn how to grow everything um, that I can. So that's my goal. Try something new. Um, every year next year the plan is going to be uh peanuts and my grandfather told me and my dad told me to i only i'm only gonna need like one you know because uh plant too many of them and you'll have too much so so yeah this is it. So, and again, I started these. Uh, started the slips from one single sweet potato. So, it's interesting to see that although uh, they're called potatoes, they're not like the white potatoes. They don't grow like the white potatoes so for you know they're under the ground but other than that they're really quite different so that's it thanks for watching